What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Eddie Soundhead here with Soundhead Entertainment on a hectic post Martinsville Monster Truck Tuesday. And trust me, we will get to all that NASCAR action a little bit later this week because first we've got a retro Monster Truck Mash VHS special to partake in. Yesterday for Halloween, I got stuck in the time machine and now I'm here with eight classic 80s trucks and a retro track. The site of today's carnage being Bloomsburg with this retro layout that we can not only enjoy some drag racing on, but even a little freestyle exhibition later once we add some obstacles and of course to take this track on we've got eight trucks with leaf springs steel bodies and all so needless to say there should be no shortage of excitement here at the track today get yourselves ready because we are about to get round one of racing underway and to get it started i think i know exactly who we're going to send out there for race one it is the stomper bully versus nightmare pulling out of the pits as we speak about to get this thing rolling as they roll out onto the track. Now round one will feature four races, this one being the first. We will then determine which four trucks head to the semifinals of round two. And then round three, the grand final will determine our racing champion here today in Bloomsburg. Who will get it done? Make your picks now because we're about to go racing. In fact, we are off. The green light is on and away they go. Nightmare seems to get a nice early lead, but both trucks a little squirrely off the first set of cars. Now a drag race to the next ramp. Nightmare got there first. Who will get to the line? I can't even tell you. That was a dead heat, almost a photo finish, if you will, right off the start. We're gonna have to slow this thing down and see who actually got that win. And it was Nightmare by a nose, a great last ditch effort by Stomper, who was behind for most of that race, made it close at the end. And he will probably be kicking himself for that one because now he's gonna have to wait all the way until freestyle starts. He's gonna be sitting back there in the pits with all the other losers who lost. Now the question to answer is who will join Stomper Bully in the back by getting eliminated? First coming out for race two here is Excalibur, another classic truck once driven by Charlie Pawkin and he's not making a buy run. He's got Bigfoot to deal with. The biggest, baddest original monster truck. This one, however, being Bigfoot 4. Fun fact, Bigfoot 4 was the first Bigfoot to ever roll over. Now you know. Hopefully he won't recreate that here today in this race. But if somebody does by the end of the show today, I would not be the least bit surprised because they're going to be hanging it all out, going for that win, and race number two is underway. We got a real big match up here. Excalibur got a nice push off the cars there, a little bit behind. Bigfoot showing that muscle. Over the ramp, the far lane is going to raise Supreme again, and Excalibur blows a wheel right off the truck. And the chrome bumper flies off the back of the bed, all bent up. That was a nasty landing for Excalibur. We got to look at that one again. Just caught the ramp with that front wheel and sheared it right off. A little bit too much force on that front suspension. You know, these old trucks, they can't take these brutal beatdowns like the modern day ones can. You got to be a little bit more gentle with them. Excalibur still able to drive it all the way back, though. It looks like going to give the fans one last look because I don't know that that one's going to make it back as badly damaged as it is. So Bigfoot got the win. But hardly the major story in race two of round one, Excalibur. Looks like he might be done for the day. Look at that damage. I'm glad I don't have to fix that. Well, here we go, right into race number three of round one. We've got two iconic trucks coming out of the pits yet again in the near lane. We'll have USA 1. Technically speaking, this is USA 1 2, the winner of the 1988 TNT Championship, a truck with some pedigree. And then the next year, I think it rolled over about 20 different times. And then in the far lane, Black Stallion. Michael Vodders made that truck famous as one of the ultimate underdogs. A classic Ford versus Chevy matchup. Coming up next, and we are off. Looks like USA 1 gets the early jump off the line. Black Stallion made up a little bit of ground off the back of the crush cars, but USA 1's got that power down. It's not even a question. Taking it easy over the second jump of cars, and Black Stallion out of shape in the far lane. Down on the back of the bed hard, and then up on the nose, but gathers it up. That bed is all bent up for sure. Black Stallion maybe trying to do a little bit too much right there and make up some of that lost ground, but it'll lead to a racing elimination. Either way, it might lead to another kind of elimination. That bed looks like it's about to come flying off. You might not even need to try and buff that out. You just rip that thing off and give it to a fan or something. But now that I think about it, I doubt anybody's trying to give away old steel body pieces. That's, that's probably a pretty penny. But either way, we are moving on. Race number four of round one is here. The final race of round one. 
We will decide our semifinals with this matchup. In the near lane over there, we have Barefoot. And then in the far lane, running up the ramp, we have Alan Pizzo's original Predator. Getting ready, a Chevy versus Chevy Civil War here to decide the semis. Who will get this dub and move on to take on the fierce competition for the championship? Race is underway, barefoot out to an early lead. It looks like this one might already be settled. Predator not even in the conversation. Another one where they can just cruise over the line. And Predator didn't even look like he got all four wheels over the crush cars. Back in the day, that would have been a disqualification. I don't know if I'm quite gonna hold him to that, but he lost anyway. So what difference does it make? Way to go barefoot. That will do it for our first round of racing as they'll head back to the pits and sort thing. Oh my God, we got a collision here. We got some bad blood. Predator just bullying barefoot after the race is over. What's going on here? I don't know that that's beef. I'd say it's probably just a miscalculation. Either way, Barefoot looks fine and able to continue. We gotta see that again. Sure enough, Predator just comes running up on him and says, how dare you knock me out of this competition? Now, fortunately for both of those trucks, I think they'll live to fight another day with that minimal damage. However, Predator is eliminated and that's one hell of a way to end round one. Now, we are on to the semifinals. Bigfoot in the near lane, taking on Nightmare in the far lane. Nightmare 3 versus Bigfoot 4. Who is gonna get the job done? They look lined up to me. The anticipation is building. Who is gonna make it to that final round and fight for the championship? We're about to find out they're off. Nightmare looks like he got a little bit of an early start, but it's pretty dead even off the first set of cars until Bigfoot just drives ahead like Bigfoot does, leaving Nightmare in the dust and even a little wheelie over the cars for some added style points. That'll sit Nightmare down. Bigfoot, surprise, surprise, is headed for the final. Now we gotta watch to make sure everybody makes it back in one piece here. Nightmare may be eliminated from racing, but you wanna tear that thing up before free Oh, come on, guys, you gotta get it together. Another set of wheel jumping. I cannot believe what I'm seeing here with the replay. We may have some bad blood out here, fortunately. Looks like no suspension damage, no body damage, no frame damage, so all is well. Just a little kiss of the tires, although I'm sure Bigfoot is not pleased with that. However, he will be pleased that he's made it to the final. Now we'll decide who he will face with the second race of the semifinals here. Barefoot will be rolling up in the near lane. USA 1 finds himself in the far lane for this Chevy Civil War Part 2. Who will have the honor of facing the big bad Ford in the final? We are about to get it going. USA won with an early jump, but Barefoot sky wheelies it over the cars. Gets a little bit of that ground made up. USA won pulls away again, though, on the straight. He gets all the way to the cars, and Barefoot's over. Barefoot crashes the truck, trying to get back even with USA won, and it has ended in disaster. We gotta take another look at that. Barefoot only got two wheels on the ramp and it just rotated him right over onto his lid, up on the nose and hard down on the bed and roof. That is gonna cause some serious damage. That will almost certainly knock Barefoot out of the rest of the show. And now we gotta try to deal with this truck laying in the middle of our track before the final. We got the track workers out here even putting in work putting in the man hours, they're gonna help get Barefoot back on its feet, cause that thing, we gotta look at the damage once we do. Let's see this thing come back on its fours here. Poor Barefoot, ouch. Dented on all corners it seems like. The bed totally trashed, the nose totally trashed. Wonder, there's definitely some front suspension damage. And I think it's fair to say that Barefoot will almost certainly be joining Excalibur in the list of trucks unable to return. However, he is able to drive it away. Credit where credit's due, that's gonna be pretty hard. Looks like he has to use the rear steer to get that thing to turn anywhere. So good luck to whoever has to fix that one. I'm glad once again that it's not me. What I am glad for is that the final is here. And we only had to cause a couple of casualties in order to get here, but we have done it. And what a classic matchup we've got in store. Bigfoot in the Ford in the near lane. USA won in the Chevy in the far lane. This is a championship race. If I have ever seen one, who will take the dub? We're about to find out because they are off. USA won and Bigfoot almost even over the first set of cars. This could be the closest race yet. Headed to the second stack. It is super close. Neck and neck. I have no idea who just won that. 
Again, I haven't the slightest idea. Our first and final photo finishes. USA 1, give it a little love tap to Bigfoot. Maybe he thinks he got beat. We'll have to check the replay. Sure enough, look at that. A genuine photo finish. USA 1 gets clipped by a nose. And who would have thought Bigfoot gets hit done? USA 1 not too pleased about it. A little love tap. Bent the chrome bumpers up a little bit. But they'll live to fight another day. Bigfoot is your racing champion. Are you surprised? You shouldn't be, because this kind of seems like it's what Bigfoot just does. This is its natural habitat, winning final races. And now we get to see Bigfoot burn it down a little bit. Give us some donuts right in front of the fans, Bigfoot might out you. There we go. And now you know what's coming up next, don't you? We are not quite done yet, but first, let's give a little fanfare to the iconic Bigfoot. Maybe one day we'll ban Bigfoot like they did back in the day. We'll just say, you know what, everybody else has to catch up. Bigfoot, why don't you take a seat on the bench for a couple of months or whatever? But not today. Bigfoot will reign supreme, standing tall on the ramp, getting a round of applause, a bunch of cheers from the fans. Everybody loves to see it, and everybody loves to see freestyle, which is what we're doing next. Now, back in the day, they didn't really do freestyle. They did you know, a couple of car crushes here and there, a little exhibition here and there, but never a full freestyle show like you would see today. So this is where the hybrid creative liberties are coming in and we're gonna have a little demonstration for all the fans out here hopefully all of you to enjoy black stallion coming back out limping it out here with the bed taken off looks like they listen to my advice why well, try to buff that out you'd be here for four days now i hope you guys know i wouldn't try to make you watch a freestyle event where the only obstacles are four racing ramps and a couple of cars that are behind them absolutely not we got the track workers working overtime i pulled out a car pyramid we got a box car box van stack that will probably break most of the trucks that try to even look at it we've got 20 cars lined up behind one of the racing ramps so that all you'll do is land on crush cars we got vans we got suvs we got all kinds of stuff out there and now it's time to make that stuff a lot less nice than it was about five seconds ago. Nightmare is gonna be the first one to do some damage. He'll roll off first, and we'll hope for him that this goes well because he is the guinea pig. I would not be surprised if someone breaks off all four wheels before this freestyle is over. I do not know if they'll be able to handle some of these obstacles. Some of them couldn't even handle the racing lines that we had going, so this ought to be good. That's all I know, and this has begun. Nightmare hits the first set of crush cars, and we are underway in this exhibition. Now, I don't really plan on scoring these runs or even having a winner, but if you want to score them and leave them as a comment down below, please feel free as Nightmare makes pretty easy work of that boxcar stack right there. Maybe I shouldn't be so concerned for these guys' health. They can take care of themselves by the looks of it as he gets over the van stack, touches the tops of it and keeps on going. Taking it a little easy to get things started here. I respect the hustle, I understand it. Wanted to break things in a little bit over the SUV, nice and easy. Now this one could be interesting, the pyramid. Oh, just made absolutely beautiful work of it and a little slap really out of it as well. Nightmare having kind of a dreamy start to things, if you will. But now he's hit all the obstacles, so it's time to get creative and do things a little bit differently. We got some cross-threading on the menu. How about that? Look out, track workers. No, he's going for the front loader. That is not an obstacle. Oh my god, well that didn't take long, he just blew up the truck's front end right on the front loader, look at that, takes out the chain, takes out one of the rear wheels, the suspension is shot, and that's how fast things can go from good to bad here in freestyle, as you see the POV of the poor guy in the front loader, pretty much taking it like a champ, I don't think he came out any worse for wear. Well I know I said we're not scoring freestyles, but the way to usually win freestyles is to make an impact on the fans, I think crashing into the track workers is a pretty good way to make an impact, if you ask me. Now, the way we're gonna do this here is we're just gonna leave that truck laying there. We're gonna go ahead and move right on to the next one, being Stomper Bully in that TNT scheme. Coming at you, Wild Bill. Hopefully he keeps his wildness on the track this time. I'm glad the course is this far away from the grandstands. I don't trust him not to run into that too after what I just saw. There is a beautiful sky wheelie over the top of the pyramid. That was very nice. And there goes that SUV, that thing is crunched just gone stomped out by stomper bully putting his name to good use with a nice slap wheelie too backwards up the van stack hard down on that single car i like i'm switching it up from the nightmare run trying things the other way around are we gonna try this box car container stack the other way around too we are indeed and that container does not give an inch you gotta be careful that thing will bite you 
As you know, if you watch monster trucks, many a truck has met its maker thanks to a container much like that one, but the plush cars make life a little bit easier, just kind of sailing over top of them, a nice cushy landing on them, and we're gonna come back for some more, it looks like. Stomper Bully lining up the crush car ramp again the other way, gets a little crooked on it, but still able to roll it right over top of pretty much all of them and headed back for this box van container stack, sailing it right up the top of it and blows out the tire on the landing ramp. That is gonna make doing this a lot harder, but I don't see any quit. I don't see any give up. That's going nose first over the van stack and there goes another tire blowout. One on each side even. Well, one tire blowing out might have been all right, but two, that is gonna do it. Two early eliminations, it feels like. And we got four trucks left to go. Alan Pizzo's original Predator is gonna be coming out next. No hesitation. We don't need any track safety workers here. Nobody's running to check on somebody to see if they're okay. No, we just send it here. And that's exactly what Predator's gonna do on this car stack. And he gets some nice air doing it and a soft, pushy landing on the back half of the ramp. We should have done racing with those. I'm gonna, I'm having bright ideas here. Now that freestyle's starting. Up over the container, easy, didn't even touch it. And the smooth landing, but now he's stopping. What's this? Looks like we might be lining something up. It could be a reverse move, indeed it is. We might have a first reverse of the day. Will this end in destruction? It's gonna catch that wheels on the container, but he rides out of it. That is what we like to see right here. That's what freestyle is all about. Who's gonna bust that first unique move and make an impression on the fans? And now we got a little bit of a cross thread. Sky Willie on the van stack. Predator pulling out all the stops here, doing some unique moves. He's not even crashing into track workers while he's doing it. That's the real important step to all of this. As all the other trucks laying around looking at him are saying, I should have done that while you broke too fast. And now Predator's trying to get a cockeyed launch over the pyramid, and he does. Just powered over it right there. That pyramid is not one that you can just go flying at either, because I have a feeling you'll just crash into it rather than go over it. So I like the cautious yet aggressive approach that these trucks are taking to these obstacles so far. And the real question is, how does Predator cap off this run? Because so far, everybody's capped it off with a crash. How about some huge air right there? That's not a bad way to do it, but I don't think he's done quite yet. Spinning that thing around back towards the box car. This could be good. Huge air over top of that as well. Looks like one of the tires might have got hurt there. Then he crashes into Stomper Bully. You know what? That might be the perfect ending to this run, if you ask me. And next up in line is Black Stallion, or at least what's left of it. Now, the question is, does this give Black Stallion an advantage? Only having half a truck body, it certainly would make it a little bit lighter. Visibility out the back would be marginally better. You, I guess you could crank your neck and look back there since there was no Hans device back in the 80s. And I do believe the fuel tank is now totally exposed. So if this thing bursts into flames, don't you dare blame me, as here is a fabulous wheelie out of the sky wheelie over the pyramid. That is a tremendous way to start your run. And now, headed for the box van, just sails it up over top of that thing and lands it hard, but fair and on the wheels. Flipping that thing around, gas tank shining in the sun, exposed. That is just disaster waiting to happen. As Black S continues his run down the line, here goes the SUV. That thing is having a tough life itself. Missed the pyramid that time. That might have been on purpose, a little cross thread. Getting some guts about him now as a few trucks have gone. Black Stallion probably figures he doesn't have much to lose. He's already lost half the truck. Cross threading over the crush cars. Back towards the van stack. Huge air over top of that, just sailing it now. We are in full send mode at this point in the show, it would seem. Flipping that thing around, kicking dirt up everywhere. This is gonna be a lot of speed into this one. That's gonna nose down hard right on the front suspension. That could not have felt good, and Black Stallion's going over. There it is, a bad bounce is gonna do it. That was a short run, but a sweet run for Black Stallion, my goodness. As we're gonna roll right into the next run, this track is quickly becoming a truck graveyard. Dell Jr. would be proud of, and a wheelie right off the star from USA One, getting this thing started the right way. Gotta believe the big Chevy here is looking for a little redemption after making it to the racing final, but failing to secure the dub. Now we're gonna tear it down in freestyle to make up for it, and that is a beautiful sky wheelie over the pyramid stack, and powered out of it too, and powered over the SUV too, just laying that throttle down, letting it all hang out here. All right, we're getting aggressive, I see. It is time to play. The games are over. It is showtime for USA One, and he's flipping that thing around with force. Back towards the van stack we go, clears that entirely. 
Getting a little bit out of shape with that, but no problems at all. Heading back towards that pyramid with some speed. He does send it right up there. The wheel is flattened as another one breaks off. All rear wheels removed from USA 1 with the quickness that took no time at all. Have fun trying to drive that thing around, buddy. I think you just became an obstacle. And matter of fact, I think he has the same idea. Would you look at this? USA's parking it for Bigfoot. Well, if that doesn't set the stage, I don't know what does. We've got one truck left fully intact. And I have a feeling that is about to change. Bigfoot, do your worst. It flies off the ramp here in front of the fans. Let that engine scream. This ought to be good. There is a lot to work with for Bigfoot, but only a little bit of time to get it done. What will he do? Headed for the crush cars first, it appears, and he sails it right over top of them with a little bit of a rebound on the landing, but A-OK. -okay. Now the box van and container clear up over top of them. Another nice landing. Now flipping that thing around. Will we need that ambulance in the background by the end of this? We will find out. He's headed right for USA 1. He fakes us out. He doesn't do it. Absolute fake out by Bigfoot 1 to show off the speed capabilities. First flies the other way over the crush cars now. Putting on a pure display of power before running it into the ground. Now that is a strategy I gotta respect, but he's headed back for this pyramid that bit the last guy who tried it. How will it go this time? Stands it right up on top. Bangs the chrome bumper off the top car and slap Willie's out of it. Takes over the SUV and headed for USA 1. He's gonna do it this time. It seems he goes right over top of him. Clears him entirely. Took it kinda easy and gets rewarded. He's flipping it right back around again. Is he going back? He is. The chrome bumper goes flying and he slams right into USA 1. Rips USA 1 apart, rips off his own wheel. Bigfoot is in big trouble and he just slams it into the crush cars and does a flip. There goes another wheel. Three wheels off the wagon for Bigfoot. What a finish. What a way to cap this event off. We just trashed every single truck we brought here. I don't think there's one of them that came out of this thing clean and I wouldn't have it any other way. We're gonna remember this one for a long, long time. I hope you guys sure will because that was a lot of fun. I always have fun recording these. It's a lot of work once you get to the camera path editor, but it's all worth it in the end. Hell, I'm worn out just doing the commentary on this thing. So do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe for more, leave me a comment down below. We'll definitely be back in Beam doing this again soon. As always, thank you all so much for watching. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!